and we're back. Hit it, baby girl. We've got tips and recipes for healthy living. So for fun and inspiration, come and join us in the raw food world. I bet you wish you could be right here. Mm. Now, welcome everybody. This is Matt Monarch with the Raw Food World TV show. What's going on? <laughs> He's got lots of little dreads now, hasn't he? Rather than big monster dreads. Yeah, you guys notice that? It's pretty bad. Uh, uh, bad. Neat. <laughs> okay, let's do it. We got some questions. Ooh. What are the people asking in the chat room? If I could put together a playlist of songs for jumping on the rebounder, what would be on it? Woo! I actually have some playlists on YouTube on my channel. If you go to youtube.com slash raw reform and look at my playlists, there's some, I think there's one that's called like music to dance to or something. I really like um, Harry Belafonte. Oh, what's the name of the song? Sonora, I think it's called. Dance, 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 Sonora. Dance your body line. That's a really fun one for bouncing to. Um, dance, dance, dance. <laughs> no. Okay. Um, I like things with a really like fast, happy um, tempo. You might find something by Madonna inspiring, like from the 80s or something. Um, some Paul Simon things are really good as well. I can call you Betty. Betty, when you call me, you can call me out. <laughs> um, yeah, upbeat stuff like that. That's what I like. I used to like my own music. Oh, no. What happened? Then she came into my life. Oh, dear. And now we just listen to her music over <laughs> and over and over again. Baba. And what, again. What would he listen to? And again. What would I listen to? I try to listen to my music, and then all of a sudden, like, this little soul just goes, Ooh. like, all of a sudden she goes into this, like, space of hell. Baba. No, but honestly, if I had my choice, I would continue to listen to the Angela's music. There are certain songs that, you know, I've grown to like Alicia Keys. She's kind of, like, in the type of music that I used to like. It's kind of like a knockoff of that. So all the songs that are kind of close to it are kind of cool, and I kind of try to get Angela to listen to those, and I buy those CDs for her and stuff like that. <laughs> but to be honest with you, I would have it no other way. Because my true music is seeing this one smiling Ooh. and having a good time. Like when we're in the convertible, and all of a sudden there's this, like I'm just looking for songs that she likes, because then it's like, ah! 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 You know what I'm talking about? So I'm just like, um, my mission is to like appease this one in terms of music, and you know, hopefully, I like the music also in the process. Mm. Let's see what else they're asking. No one, no one. Someone's just asked, "What do you like, Matt? What do you like?" You know, maybe some Big Daddy or the Regulators. Now, what I also like is R&B, slow, sexy music, R&B type stuff, kind of like Alicia Keys, like that, you know. But now, if you are in L.A., you listen to if you 103.5 Coast. Yeah, that's, that's where, where it's at. Yeah, that's what I got to listen to all the time. Codependent and, love song, radio station. Yeah, that's, she likes the codependent songs. <laughs> you know, Mariah Carey, you know, um... Every now and then I find a little da 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 na na A total eclipse of the heart. You should see her, she just goes nuts. Every now and then I am falling in love. Now I'm only falling apart. Something a total eclipse of the heart. Every now and then all right, people are asking where we get organic clothes from, or hemp or bamboo clothes. I actually wrote a blog about this really recently. I've written many different blogs on eco-clothing. While you do that, I'm actually going to try on my new eco-clothing. 
Okay. Um, there's some really great sites out there. One of the best ones that's kind of like a hub for eco clothing is um, <laughs> whiteapricot.com. Whiteapricot.com. It's a site that has all these different links to different eco clothing sites and they have discounts for all of the sites um, anything from like five or ten percent to like forty percent on some of them really good discounts some of the ones that I like the best are called Jute and Jackfruit and Gretchen and Grace and if you just go to whiteapricot.com and go to their specials area you'll find all the discounts Mr. Monarch got some new clothing she from... told me they were too big but now I put them on what do you think? Yummers. Seriously? Yeah. He just got some new hemp trousers from rawganique.com. Like Beautiful, Bubba. Well, look, when you when you untie it, hopefully I don't miss it here. Look, it's like it comes out, it's like I'm obese or something, but you just got to tie it and then it stops. I don't think the nice people in the chat room <laughs> made me want to know about his hemp trousers. What do you think, though? Do you like them? Mm -hmm. Sure. Right. Um... And somebody just mentioned Etsy for moon pads. Yeah, if you want like <laughs> reusable menstrual pads, you can go there. And I really like Pineapple Pop on Etsy and also TextureClothing.com. They do fantastic skirts and tops and flares and stuff. And um, Texture Clothing is in um, Washington State, I think, somewhere like that. All right, what else are you guys asking? These are the bomb. Lovely, Bubba. That okay. was like the cartoon. She said, "Lovely." Isn't lovely. It? When did what'd you say in the cartoon about that? It was lovely. Now let's have a yum pot. Oh yeah, that's right. All right. If we decide to have a home birth in Ecuador, where would we go in case of an emergency? Um, Why are people giving their children away to other people? My child's gonna be with me until he like runs away or something. <laughs> um, it turns out that our housekeeper is actually a midwife of sorts so we're feeling very blessed about that. Um, if something was to come up, like a friend recently was giving birth in Vilcabamba and something came up, she was doing a home birth, something came up and she went to a clinic in the nearby city, Loja, and everything was fine, the baby's fine, mother's fine, everyone's fine. So there are places to go to if something came up, but definitely our intention would be to have a home birth, um, preferably into water. I would, I'm really interested in lotus birthing as well, when you don't cut the cords, the umbilical cords, until it falls off by itself. And then you have like this placenta that we just walk around with all day that is just full of blood and it looks like bacon and then people eat it when they're done after they dehydrate some and supposedly it's like really good. Yeah, a lot of people um, dehydrate the placentas apparently and put it into veggie caps, which I guess is kind of Or they ironic. just eat it straight <laughs> like meat. Yeah, you could just eat it. I don't know about all that. Okay, what else are they asking? Would we eat placenta like meat? I don't know. I guess we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Right now, if you put a placenta in front of me and <laughs> asked if I wanted some, I doubt I'd want any. But I hear that it's really great for helping women's hormones to balance after giving birth. So, someone just recommended we do a recipe video with placentas. Ay yeah yeah. We haven't done many recipe videos recently, hey? Welcome to the rawfoodworld.com TV show. Nah. We're going to do some recipes with placentas. <laughs> this came out of Angela's stomach, everybody. And uh. take a slice of this and put it on this, and you got some bacon. Raw bacon, no? Nah. I guess not. Um, someone's asking what would we do or recommend if we found out that we had fertility difficulties? Juice fast, vegetable juice, enemas, colonics. Zeolites. And clear, quit worrying about it. Clear up the bloods. Lots of positive thinking. Um, 
apparently if, if women have a background of miscarriages as well, um, the, one of the products that we have that's called Eucomia, apparently that's really great for women wow. who have a history of miscarriages. We also got some other new products coming very soon. Like what? If I tell them, it's going to... Astrologous root. Come in, like, within the next two days. Astragalus. Astragalus. Ooh. David Wolf and Daniel Vitalis have been talking a lot about it. The benefits. And there's more! We've got new kale chips. Oh, yes? By another company. What else? We got more, too. But get the freeze-dried durian. Unless you're not a durian fan. Someone's asking what flavor. There's going to be spirulina. Spirulina kale, kale chips. chips. And there, there's three new flavors. Yes. And there's more. And there's more. Um, have you ever thought of opening up a physical raw food world store? Yes, you can go there right now, as a matter of fact. Where? In Ojai, California. Ah. And if you go on the right day, you might even catch us there. Where is it in Ojai, California? 406 Bryant Circle, Unit E, Ojai, California, 93023. Go show up any time between business hours of 9 to 5, Monday through Friday. And you too can go shopping at the Raw Food World TV show. In the actual warehouse. It's not set warehouse. up for retail. But people, people do it all the time. It's crazy. People do it all the time. So... To do that if you're somewhere around. We'll be there next week at some point. Um, someone's asking why I like Mukite and Shiva Lingams. Ooh, I probably have a Shiva Lingam here. Hang on a minute, let me find it. You guys, she is always buying new rocks. <laughs> Like, every day she just comes up to me and she's like, look what I got. And I'm just like, what? I'm like, okay. Baba. And I'm just kind of curious. I'm like, how much did you spend on that rock? And then she tells me, and I'm like, okay. All right. I got a new Shiva Lingam in Ojai. It's a big one. Look at this guy. Absolutely beautiful. If, you, if you're not familiar with these guys, they come out of one river in India and they're said to help um, balance male and female energies and there's just something to me incredibly powerful and grounding and beautiful about these stones. I love Shiva Lingans, one of my favorite stones. Can I swallow it? Baba! And this is my favorite piece of mukite. I hope you can see that well. This is from, the, it's only found in Perth, in, I mean, in Western Australia. Around when the did Perth you get area, that one? When we were in Australia. And it's connected to like Aboriginal dream time and it's these beautiful. Where's my rock? <laughs> red and yellow and white colors. I have another piece of mukite here. It's a small I rock. have the most powerful <laughs> rock on the planet in Vilcabamba, Ecuador. Even she said she's never felt a rock oh, with that much energy. That one's off the hook. And this guy... It came from Solomon's tomb. King Solomon's mines. This one is a jasper that I just bought in Ojai as well. It's beautiful. It looks kind of quite quite a lot like mukite. Mukite is very connected to feminine energy. And so is this one, which is um, rhodochrosite from uh, South America somewhere. I forgot where. I think it was Argentina or Chile. No, that's one I want to swallow. And it, it's so beautiful. So yeah, I connect a lot to the the stones that are about feminine energy and balancing energy and and grounding, and um, I just like the appearance of them as well. They're so beautiful. All right. Any more questions? Well, we only have thirty seconds, but I just kicked someone out of the chat room because they were being rude ones. Oh no. And who do we got there? Angela Stokes Monarch. And Matt Monarch. Wanting my King Solomon's Chambers rock. And we'll see you again tomorrow at the Raw Food World TV show. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you again at the Raw Food World.